Hello, and welcome again to my show, Searching for Integrity. My name really is John Smith, and I'm searching for people with integrity. Why? Because our country suffers from IDD, Integrity Deficit Disorder. We have today a guest, Laura Pickett, and her book, Get Over, Wait. <laughs> this, should be, this should be interesting. <laughs> are you there? I am here. Hello, John. Hey, How are you? I'm doing fine. Excellent. I'm doing fine. Glad to be uh, with you. Usually what I look at, and you sent me exactly what I look at, hmm. uh, the table of contents. Okay. And that's where I can break it down and the people that, that are going to want to be interested. And it's just okay. right there. So we'll probably start with something like that. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see. Let me ask you a question. Okay. We'll get, it, we'll get it rolling. Okay. Um, Twelve books. 12 chapters. 12, well, 12 steps. 12 it's, steps, aha. Uh, yeah, it's a few more chapters, but 12 steps. Okay, okay. <laughs> I missed that part. I got the introduction, <laughs> and I went through the introduction. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, that's um, not easy, is it, in terms <laughs> what? of what you've done? Oh, no, it's not easy. It was not easy getting here. It was not easy. Um going through the struggle to get this book out. It was not easy. Yeah. It was a real yeah. test. Yeah, it was a real test. Well, um, let's start. Okay. How I got here. How are you there? <laughs> yes, uh, that's the real story. So, uh -huh. you know, the inter interesting thing is um, I probably have dealt with my weight all of my life uh, from childhood on up. Uh, but what had happened is I normally could, uh, if I gain weight, I could lose weight. And if I gained it, I could lose it. And that was not a challenge uh, for me. But um, in 2005, uh, some things began to happen and uh, I began to gain weight and couldn't lose it. Um, and it ended up being a 12 year struggle. Uh, I would manage every maybe every two to three years to get on a plan, an eating plan. I would lose maybe 20 pounds, uh, but then I would go right back up the scale. And then I'd wait a couple of more years struggling and right. back up the scale. The, the challenge was uh, for the first time in my life, I could not maintain it. Um, and I could not seem even at points to follow a plan, the weight just wouldn't come off. And it was, uh, it was horrifying. Uh, I got to my highest weight ever in my entire life. Um, I was wearing black clothes all the time, hiding from cameras. Uh, didn't want anybody to really see me. Um, it was a, it was a fight. It was a struggle. And I realized the enemy really was coming after me, coming after my destiny, my family, just every area of my life. And so I ended up, uh, seeking the Lord about it. I said, you know, I don't know what, what the holdup is. Um, I even almost felt like giving up on ministry. I'm a minister. Um, and ministry is my heart. Um, you know, I know I've been called and I really wanted to fulfill God's will. Uh, but the struggle had become so bad and the challenges I was facing were coming from every angle. I don't know if you heard the scripture. James says, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations." I felt like they were coming from every angle. And uh, I wanted to give up on ministry. I wanted to give up on my marriage, just everything. I was just exhausted. And um, I said, but Lord, I know you're able. So I just need to know, is there something I'm missing? And I got with him and he began to reveal something that I was holding on to in my heart. And, and my main message in my book is not just about what we eat. I like to uh -huh. say it's really more about what's eating us. And uh, so my, my book deals with spirit, soul and body uh, because I realized it was not just the eating plans. Uh, I had tried them all, sometimes they work, but that was not my challenge. It was other things going on on the inside. And so once he revealed it to me and I uh, repented, changed my mind, got my heart right, 
Uh, I'm telling you, uh, John, it was miraculous. I went back when I got ready to write the book, the Lord said, go back and, and look at what happened. And within a week, I began an eating plan and I stayed on that plan, lost 50 pounds in my first uh, year for first 12 months, went on to lose 20 more pounds, uh, held on to 10 that I had lost before, uh, but I got my breakthrough and it, it completely changed my life. And then he said, now I need you to write about it. Well, um, that's quite a, quite a, quite a story. Uh, <laughs> it is. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. Had, it did is. you have a lot of people encouraging you or did you have a lot of people that you tell them, get away? You said that I was telling to get away? Uh, no, them to get away. Oh, yeah. Well, I... People, let, let me just say for my husband first, because he's the one that saw me going up this ladder and ballooning. <laughs> and uh, my daughter <laughs> saw me <laughs> ballooning. And uh, I thank God that they love me so much. They never made me feel bad about it. Um, they, you know, they really didn't say a whole, whole lot. Uh, you know, men are wise. My husband was wise. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really talk to me and tell me I needed to lose weight or anything like that. Um, but I knew I did. And, um, and, and, and when I realized uh, that it was a challenge, it was challenging my body. Uh, doctor right. was beginning to say, you know, your health is now being challenged. You, you're borderlining, uh, you get high cholesterol, borderlining diabetes. I just didn't want any of those things. I just, I didn't want to have to go that way. And uh, so they did not discourage me. We'll put it that way. Um, but they didn't say a whole lot. I just think they probably didn't know what to say, but uh, but the Lord encouraged me and he helped me to hang on and know that, you know, I can bring you out of this. Don't give up. And that's what I that's what I held to. As time goes by, mm. it was a long time, I bet. Oh, 12 years. You know, I, I don't know. 12 years is a long time. I don't know if you heard this. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a long time. And um, I think there's some completion. I, I believe in the in numbers. And I think there's some completion in that, you know, 12 years it takes to graduate uh, from high school. And I think that I graduated. And to be honest, I think uh, not think I know now uh, the Lord let me go through that struggle for that long so I could really feel what people were really being challenged with and how right. challenging this can be and how many areas of your life it can affect and how discouraging it can be and how you can want to give up on life and all of that. So uh, he allowed me to go through it so that not just I could come out, but that I could write a book. I have a coaching program now where I can help others to come out and so that they don't have to go through as many years as I did. So that's that's my heart's desire. Let me ask you this. Okay. Did you try a lot of different um, um, things to do? Eat? Yeah, eating plans. Um, I really only tried, I think, well, let me say this. I have tried a lot. <laughs> uh, but in that 12-year period, I think I only tried maybe two. Um, one was Weight Watchers, which is the one that I had been doing for many years, and the one that I did use to uh, as as following the eating plan because I wanted to be able to eat uh, normal and eat out and do things that would be normal. Uh, but I did try. I think quick weight loss was one, and I lost weight. It worked, uh, but I gained it right back. And so in my book, I don't really uh, tell them what kind of plan to go with. I have a list of questions to ask to help you determine what plan works for you, uh, because any plan will work. But the question is, can you work it? <laughs> and if you can't work it, John, then it doesn't work. <laughs> That's no, need. Line. no need. Yeah. Right. No need. Right. Wasting your time. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Well, now, so your book then would be mm -hmm. their path to uh, really losing weight. Like you yes. Been. Exactly. Uh, the, the subtitle, I don't know if you noticed, said uh, 12 steps to finally win the weight battle and win in life. So my book is not just about getting the weight off, but mm -hmm. it's learning how to get victory in every area of your life. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I wrote a book called Don't Miss Your Destiny uh, because that's very 
close to my heart, people finding out their purpose in life. And uh, mm -hmm. so my last step, step 12 out of my 12 steps is entitled the hunger that meat can't meet. Does that make really? sense? The hunger that meat can't meet. Uh, Jesus said, my meat is to do the will of the father. So I think to really be fulfilled in life, we really have to know why we're here, what our purpose is, and begin right. to operate in that to really enjoy and be fulfilled. Because often with eating, there's something else we're trying to satisfy uh, more than just what we need for our body. Well, um, were there various kinds of, it was meat allowed in your diet? It, it was. Um, I do teach when we start, uh, when I work with someone and start a plan, I teach um, the Daniel, uh, Daniel fast. Uh, one of my steps is called fasting your reset button. And the reason I encourage people to fast, uh, to get away from, I basically tell them, uh, remove meat, bread, and sweets. If you remove that for a period of time, it's 21 days that I encourage them to do that. It allows their, app their appetite to change. It allows their uh, taste buds to change what they desire. And it allows them to get control. And fasting is not just about the food, but it's also turning down the food to draw closer to God and to allow him to begin to speak into your heart uh, and to begin to break off the chains uh, that many people do face when they're really struggling uh, with weight. So my book is really not for somebody who just want to lose something quick and they don't have a problem. My book really is for those who struggle, who've gone around the mountain year after year and can't seem to get a breakthrough or can't seem to keep it. Uh, those are the people that I really feel my book will be most effective for uh, because it will not only deal with what's holding you up in your weight, uh, but it'll deal with your whole life. Uh, walking by faith and changing your mind and uh, beginning to deal with your health. You know, that's right. really what I'm after more than anything, not just losing weight to look good, uh, but to feel good. You know, God wants us healthy so we can fulfill his will. Now, was your husband viewing all of this as time went by? <laughs> yes, he was. And so let me, let me tell you the truth about my husband, <laughs> Brother John. What? He used to say to me, uh, and I, and it was a good <laughs> revelation. He said to me, he said, you're talking about losing weight, but I don't see anything. You're talking. I don't see anything. So, you know, one day when I really made up my mind and I was through going through the struggle and I, I knew God had given me my breakthrough, I didn't even tell him that I was going to lose weight. I didn't tell him what I was doing. He knew I was leaving every Monday to go to Weight Watchers. He didn't know that much, but I never really talked to him about it, how much I'm going to lose. I'm going to get this done. Uh, I, I decided, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to demonstrate. And I want you to know, I just kept going every Monday, kept going. And when I returned, sometimes he'll say, how'd it go? I say, everything went good. I didn't talk about it. But when I lost probably about 40 pounds, one day he said to me when I returned, he said, that's really working, huh? <laughs> so, so uh he finally realized okay uh you are serious this time this is not talk you're really doing the walk and I thought that's what I'm after and as a matter of fact later on he began to try to follow my plan and start beginning to try to lose some pounds himself so yeah it made an impact on him <laughs> what's what's the what's the power that your book is going to offer the power Somebody, the power because you have to have willpower to do that. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the, the greatest power I think that I have to offer in my book, and I think the, the thing that makes it different from many maybe books out there is uh -huh. that I deal with the whole person. Uh -huh. I, I call it marry all three, spirit, soul, and body. And the ultimate power comes from God. Uh, so my first step talks about work with the trainer, uh, which is the Holy Spirit, who is the teacher, he's the guide, he's counselor, he's the one that will help us. And to be very honest with you, uh, he literally, the Holy Spirit literally uh, revealed things that was happening to me that I didn't know, such as inflammation. He would guide me to watch certain shows. He would guide me to certain podcasts, things mm -hmm. that began to reveal the truth to me uh, that I didn't recognize. And so I encourage people, uh, I, I have another step called QT. Uh, and as you know, the QT quick trip 
uh, gas stations. Sure. <laughs> I can yeah, I kind of use it as a parallel uh, that we, we need to have that quick trip. We need to make sure we pause. And I call QT quiet time. And I encourage people to spend time in the presence of God, listening to him, asking him questions, not just telling him everything, but really listening to see what he has to say, uh, because that's where my breakthrough came when I said, what is the holdup? And I got quiet and I really listened. And he told me what it was and it changed everything. And so uh, that's the power. And I'm getting a little bit emotional because that's the real power uh, that right. will break any chain. You know, he said, Jesus said, if you continue in my word, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. And so I, one of my other steps is know the truth, know the truth. And when you know the truth, it'll make you free. That truth can be about something in your heart. It could be about a mindset. Uh, you know, another truth that I, I found out, uh, Brother John, was that I had a, a little addiction to sugar. Uh, and that yeah. was a tremendous revelation. And I got that from spending that quiet time and realized that eating cake on my birthday uh, every year would send me down the wrong path. Uh, and I had to realize I can't eat a lot of sugar. It doesn't mean I can't have sugar. I do have it on occasions, but to eat a lot of sugar doesn't work for me and it gets me on the wrong road. So that's one of the examples of truth. So that's the power that I connect them to the all knowing, the one that knows everything has all the answers uh, will help you. Certain people believe, and I, I'm one of those certain people, Okay. That, that if you want to get close to God, then mm -hmm. you do so by meditating. Yes, absolutely. You have to have that. And yes. in order for you to accomplish what you accomplished, yes. you, have to, you have to start and, and stick with meditating. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's where success is. We know that. Meditate day and night. And it's um, I really deal with thought, uh, our thought life. That's one of my other steps. Uh, I talk right. about your your body is not the only thing that needs to change. Uh, so we need to reboot our thinking. Uh, and, and so meditating, meditating on the word and keeping that on your mind and keeping uh, positive things on your mind that I can do this, that I can succeed. I can change. You know, we're not robots. <laughs> we can change. Uh, <laughs> and so that's one of the first things when people say, I can't do this and I can't stop this. I'm like, I understand that's how you feel, but you can change. And the key to, uh, to really uh, seeing the transformation is that there has to be a change in our mind. Right. Now, some people, a lot of people will wonder, uh, do you meditate for five minutes? Do you meditate for five hours? Which is ridiculous. Mm. But right. <laughs> <laughs> so, 45 minutes? You know, 30 I, minutes? Right, right. You know, I, I found it interesting. Um, and, and that's as much time as you spend in your quiet time and thinking. But I also believe that uh, that meditation, remember uh, Joshua 1, 8 said, meditate day and night. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, when I teach, I said, that doesn't mean God want to sit down somewhere uh, meditating day and night. Uh, what I understand that to mean is that I keep the word on my mind. I keep where I'm headed on my mind. And when those thoughts come, as I face them, and as I'm sure your viewers have faced when they're trying to come out of a weight issue, or it could be challenges in a relationship or financial, or whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So I have to keep my mind meditating on what did God say? What, what is the promise that he made? And no matter what it looks like, I have to cast down those imaginations and keep that word on my heart and on my mind. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's an outstanding description you just gave. A lot of Praise. people. Praise uh, God. That's right. Because they'll, they'll know it yes. whenever they, but you have to stay with it. Yes, you do. Absolutely. You can't, you can't treat this like a, like your first husband or first wife. You got to, <laughs> got to keep treating it. You can't, you just can't <laughs> not throw it away. <laughs> amen. Amen. Continue. Continue. That's the key <laughs> to success. That's the key to victory. You got to continue. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, yes. what other people, is it in your book, the meditating part? Uh, well, it's, I mentioned it under Joshua 1.8. I think it's in my QT, quiet time part. 
And it's also in the uh, part where I talk about your mind has to change. Uh, because, you know, Romans 12, 2 talks about be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And uh, Amplify say entire renewal of your mind. So I'm very aware that, you know, we think one thing consciously, but we also have to be aware of what we think subconsciously. What are those deep rooted things that are on the inside of us, beliefs that we have, thoughts that right. we've dealt with all of our life. And so I, I, I teach it kind of throughout that I've just got to be mindful of my thoughts and I got to think on good. I, I like to think of meditating more in a, even in a general sense that I have to keep my mind on what is good. And when that thought comes that I can't do it, I can't have it, I can't accomplish it, this is too hard, this is impossible, that I cast those down and I remember I can do all things, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, this too shall right. pass, whatever it is. Right. Yes. Did, um, was there a moment for 10 where you worked on your breakthrough? You said, was there what again? Uh, either either one big breakthrough or 10 or 12 or 15 breakthroughs. Oh, got you. Got you. Oh, probably, I never counted them, but probably 10 or 12. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I was dealing with some challenges in, in my relationship with my husband. I had to work through that uh, and, you know, work with him. I had to get myself right in, in my thinking. And then I had to share with him and I had to hear his side. And so that was a work through, um, I'm right. a minister. And so there are challenges that we were facing in ministry. I had to work through those. Uh, and yeah. then there were eating challenges, uh, that I was facing, getting my appetite. I had to work through that and <laughs> work through exercises. So yes, yes. I had to work through a lot of things. That's why it takes it takes time. That's why it took me twelve months to get a, a fifty pounds off a real breakthrough. <laughs> that's 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 an amazing. You really right. have to stay with it. Yes, you do. Order, yes, to, to consistency is the key. Yes, persisting. Right. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm going to take a tip from you, and the tip okay. is going to be you got to stay with it. That's in good. In terms of because I I view it from the standpoint of matching up. And talking through and, and with my soul. Mm, yes, that's good. And uh, and and I'm I'm looking at, at a at a possibility for me to okay. to do something that's going to require me because I used to have a lot of time of um, meditation, but that okay. just kind of kind of did nothing to me. I didn't have a goal. Mm. Oh. This was this was 30, 40 years ago. Okay. But, but now I started up again. Okay. That's yeah. powerful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that Do you know that that's another step <laughs> in the book? Uh, uh -huh. I call it setting your GPS. Uh, and goal setting is so imperative. You know, the Bible says without a vision, we perish. We throw off restraints. So one of the things that I really encourage people in their weight challenge, and I think this will apply, not think, it applies in our life, our life right. goals. It could be financial goals, family goals, whatever. Uh, but I encourage them to write down what they really want every day. Write it down. Look at it every day, every night. Uh, because that, that vision, if you have a vision, eventually the way to accomplish it will come. And so a lot of times people don't move toward things that they want, weight loss or their life goals or dreams because they're waiting to see how am I going to do it? But actually the scripture says, if you get the vision, the way will come to you. You'll find the way. Uh, Habakkuk talks about write the vision and make it plain. Uh, and I like to say this, that when you get a vision, which I consider a desire of mm -hmm. your heart, uh, that desire, uh, I believe, comes from God. And when that mm -hmm. desire is there, he already has the way. The way has already been made. What we do is we open our heart, our mind, and our, our eyes to a possibility, and then we begin to see the way to accomplish what has been called. So I teach that in my book. That's a major step, write the goal. What do you want to weigh? Not how much you're going to lose. What do you really want to weigh and keep that before you? So I encourage you in that. Well, I, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. I, I, I get 
muddled up in life, you know, various mm-hmm. things. And I don't, I don't sit and, and give me, give my time to God. And I, okay. I need to do that. Okay. Do yeah. That. He has a good plan. Yeah. He has a good plan. Uh, and if we'll listen to him, he'll make it so much easier, so much quicker uh, to get there. So, yeah. Yeah. Whatever that goal is you have though, brother John, it's already worked out. Um, mm-hmm. All you got to do is just open your mind to it, open your heart to it and, and uh, let the Lord guide you. He'll, he'll guide you there for sure. Let's do this. All these people are listening today to, to today's oh. show. Okay. Uh, where, where do they need to go to buy your yes. book? Anywhere, okay. everywhere. Yes. Uh, they can go uh, first to my website, which is Laura picket.org that's l-a-u-r-a p-i-c-k-e-t-t dot org uh the book is also on amazon as an ebook uh, i do have it in paperback form uh like this uh, i also have a companion journal uh so that they can write and journal because i believe that's very important writing what you're hearing uh, I also have a section in there to write your goals, three little areas to write your goals, and then three areas to write your gratitude, what you're grateful for, so we can focus on what is good. And uh, for your viewers today, I want to give them a free gift that if they are interested uh, in my Get Overweight coaching program so I can guide them through, I want to give them a free 45-minute breakthrough session. Uh, and they can go to my website, laurapickett.org. Uh, on my front page under feature product, they'll see it. It's no cost uh, to them. But if they're interested in getting a breakthrough, I would love to speak with them. That's uh, that's outstanding. <laughs> Bless uh, you. That's, that's a military word, outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Now, let me. I need to close up our session here for a little bit. I've really enjoyed it. Oh, thank um, you. I enjoyed being with you. I, uh, you know, glad you told our uh, my audience where they they can find it, and they heard your voice, and I think that probably probably also helped motivate it. Um, <laughs> Excellent. And tuning in to searching for integrity is how they get a lot of information, and they just Excellent. got. It. Excellent, excellent. So I want to say to uh, my own, as I said, um, I want to thank you for uh, being <laughs> here. And oh, uh, you. You, you are as genuine as you can get. Uh, oh, thank you. It's, and that's that's special. Uh, Praise and, and God. Accomplishing thank what you're doing. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, so um, I want to say goodbye and thank All right. you. All right. So long. So long. <laughs> and, Amen. And, and happy trails. All right. Same to, to you. All. <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet I'm, again. <laughs>